Mona Adri, a member of the National Council for Women. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, thank you. Uh, Dr. Mona, as we're celebrating several events uh, this month during March uh, related to women in Egypt and the internationally, we uh, celebrated the International Women's Day yes. uh, and uh, the Egyptian Women's Day and also, the, um, of course, on the 21st of March, we have the Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, how do you think the Egyptian women have achieved her rights so far in Egypt, in your opinion? Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, allowing me the chance to be with you today uh, talking about the Egyptian women, actually. I think this is a crucial issue. Um, the Egyptian women still have, have a lot of different rights that they are, we are seeking to bring her. Um, but I think that we are lucky enough to be announced this year to be um, the year of women, actually, as announced by His Excellency, Professor, by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. So mm -hmm. I think that uh, this year will be carrying a lot of hopes and a lot of achievements for the Egyptian women. So um, I believe that this would be a, a year full of uh, fruitful year for the Egyptian women. Yes. Definitely, we're all looking forward to this. And uh, one of the major achievements that took place uh, this year was the appointment of the first female governor in yes. Egypt. How do you assess this choice? Um, I assess this as very, very positive, actually. Uh, this, is, um, this was uh, an excellent surprise for all the Egyptian women, actually, mm -hmm. the, at the beginning of the year. Uh, but there are still, uh, we, ha we have 27 governors, so mm -hmm. uh, there, we have still 26. So I'm looking for equity in everything related to uh, the females and bringing mm -hmm. her rights, uh, even in the political positions and the top managerial positions. Right. Uh, in your opinion, what are the major challenges and obstacles still facing the Egyptian women? Um, I think that culture is the main obstacle actually facing the Egyptian women. Um, as still the culture makes a sort of um, discrimination between uh, female versus male mm -hmm. and um, however uh, women, I think, proved themselves to be uh, very good leaders, very good uh, managers, and I think um, it's not a matter of gender at all when it comes to judgment. It's a matter of um, a full profile of the, of the, uh, the person who can be evaluated. So uh, putting the gender as an obstacle or as a criteria for judgment, I think, is totally unfair. Right. Um, also, one of the achievements this year that the percentage of uh, women represented, uh, representatives at the parliament rose from 2% to 15%, yes. which is actually another major achievement. How yes. do you assess this and uh, how do you evaluate this in favor of women's interests in Egypt? Uh, I think we are taking very good steps, actually, and these steps are looking very uh, promising, and uh, these are positive steps uh, ahead in order to, um, uh, to, to reach for the level of equity um, in Egypt, actually. Uh, so definitely there are uh, very good initiatives, actually, and very promising uh, percentages of, uh, of participation for the women. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'm seeking for, for leading for uh, equity, total equity, actually. But it's a, a very good step, again. <laughs> Right. Uh, what do you think are the reasons beyond practicing some violence against women, uh, not only in Egypt, I mean worldwide, yeah. it's still there? Why is that? Um, it is actually existing worldwide, yes, I, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think in Egypt the, um, the percentages are uh, very high, and this is um, exaggeration for the violence uh, against women. Mm -hmm. uh, so I believe that we need to, uh, to work out to, to reach for the international standards at least, mm -hmm. and international percentages of uh, violence against women. However, of course, this is a worldwide uh, um, Phenomen phenomena, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, uh, I think that in Egypt it's a very high percentage, and this percentage is threatened. Mm -hmm. um, I think the main again. What's, what's being done by, for example, the National Council for Women to counter this or to face this, yes. to overcome this uh, uh, violence that still exists, uh, maybe uh, especially in um, outside Cairo, in yes. uh, Upper Egypt. Yes. And Yes, actually this problem actually arises um, uh, as the major problems existing in Egypt, which is actually um, ignorance, definitely, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, so we can never judge uh, the reactions and the attitudes of people as long as they are not well educated. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, again a cultural problem mm -hmm. and again uh, the, the National Council for Women actually are doing, uh, we are doing a great role regarding this. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like uh, definitely to thank uh, Her Excellency uh, Dr. Maya Morsi definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, she's giving us uh, positive energy regarding all these issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to do a lot of orientations uh, mm -hmm. for the different levels of society actually for the females in order mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to give 
give her uh, her rights and uh, to give her the secrets uh, in order to not to be uh, at all, uh, uh, you know, uh, keeping, uh, uh, not insisting to have her rights, uh, full her, uh, the, for, the full rights for her. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, this uh, th this will need uh, some uh, major steps and it needs steps actually and decisions from uh, the government and from the country. Mm -hmm. It's not just from the, the our council actually. Uh, but I think we are doing a great role regarding the orientation and the announcement for that. Mm -hmm. Right, and how do you evaluate the uh, campaigns that are taking place to counter uh, negative stereotypes of women? In yeah, Egypt and, uh, I think actually um, that the media is uh, is the secret actually because the media is is the is uh, driving the people actually and uh, whether towards the positive directions or the negative ones. Mm -hmm. So actually, I would like to send uh, uh, a request for the media to be always uh, delivering the positive messages and uh, trying to to give uh, energy and to give uh, motivation for everyone rather than uh, sending uh, negative messages. So definitely, the media plays a huge role in that, and mm -hmm. uh, we are trying as well to do uh, some sort of campaigns in order to orient uh, the females about their rights and uh, not just the females actually we're doing this from uh, the school level actually from mm -hmm. the secondary school level in order to even to uh, to to ask them even the males uh, that right. they need to treat women fairly right uh, with regards to what you you just said uh, uh, how do you think we should incorporate gender equality in our curriculums uh, in school education uh, and in university education also yes i think this is very very important actually because because we need that people, uh, they, they, we need to raise them up with the with the perception of uh, equity and perception of uh, that they are uh, they are uh, equal and uh, that the females uh, the female she might be the women she might be, she might be his his mother his sister his uh, daughter his wife his colleague so accordingly we need to to raise this from the school level yes. I think so. Right. Uh, just allow me, we, ladies and gentlemen, now we go to this uh, report on the uh, challenges facing women in Egypt. Let's have a closer look. International Women's Day, here are the experiences and challenges Egyptian women have faced this year. Cairo Film Festival opened in winter 2016 with Kamla Abu Zikri's Yom al Sitet or A Day for Women, one of the two Egyptian films that made it into the competition's lineup. Nehid Sibai won the award for Best Actress at the CIFF for her role as Azza, a woman with a reputation as a village fool. In terms of cinema, March 2017 marked the 10-year anniversary of the Cairo International Women's Festival, which seeks to show that women's artistic perspectives extended across a wide range of issues and are not limited to gender. A contentious draft law on custody rights proposed by MP Suhair al Hadi met with such a backlash that Hadi was compelled to make comments to the press welcoming suggestion to legislation. According to the current law, a divorced mother in Egypt has a right to custody for her children until the age of 15, but only so long as she remains unmarried. If she does remarry, custody passes to her female relatives. The draft legislation proposed that if a mother remarries, custody would go to the father as long as he can provide a female caretaker. While women's rights activists have long called for reform of the law, the changes would not have addressed their concerns. At the start of the 2017, Parliament's Religious Committee was preparing a draft law on divorce. Female circumcision was made a felony in August 2016 with the penalty increased from the previous maximum of two-year prison term to five to seven years, with an additional maximum of up to 15 years if the operation leads to death or permanent injury. Nadia Abdo was the first woman to be appointed to the post to govern February of this year. She was sworn in as governor of Bahira, where she has served as a deputy governor since 2013. The first team to compete from Egypt in the Olympics volleyball competition. Dua El Rubeshi and Nada Mewad drew international attention at Rio because of the contrast of their dress covering their arms and with their legs with a bikini-style uniforms to the German competitors. Photos of Rubeshi with her hijab facing a against Kira Walkenhorst were widely circulated, with many commentators and media outlets suggesting that they represented the unifying power of the sport. Hedaya Malik clinched the bronze medal for Taekwondo, while Sara Ahmed and Mohamed Ihab secured medals competing in weightlifting. Also, five of the 11 medals Egypt won on the Rio Paralympics were won by women, all in powerlifting. Toward the end of 2016, several Egyptian magazines featured images of UN women in Egypt's ad campaign, titled Finding Her, drawing attention to the low proportion of women in the country's workforce, which is only 23% female.
back, ladies and gentlemen, and back to uh, Dr. Adri. Uh, and uh, as we've seen in the report, uh, they mentioned the Cairo International Women's Festival that took place uh, a while ago in uh, winter 2016. And uh, they, uh, during the opening ceremony, uh, they presented the Kamla Abu Zikri's uh, movie, Yomi Sitat, or A Day for Women. Yes. Uh, how do you see uh, this movie and how do you assess uh, the featuring of uh, the Egyptian women in Egyptian movies? Uh, actually, I think that, um, again, the media and uh, the cinema and the movies plays a huge role regarding uh, transferring the image of the Egyptian women. So actually, I, feel, I, feel, I believe that this film was um, a real uh, story that uh, for real women uh, facing um, obstacles in uh, the society and the culture. So it, it was very interesting, actually, and it handled very, very important uh, topics and, uh, and um, uh, obstacles regarding uh, the Egyptian women. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the most interesting thing, actually, was the obstacle itself for uh, producing the film. Mm -hmm. I think that it took like six years in order to finalize the film. So this was, I think, one of the major obstacles regarding the Egyptian women as well. Right. And uh, what are your expectations uh, during 2017 uh, for more achievements uh, with regards to uh, women's rights in Egypt? Uh, actually, I have a lot, a lot of, uh, of expectations and, uh, and I feel that uh, 2017 will be holding all the best for the Egyptian women. Uh, I, I have a lot of uh, uh, expectations and positive uh, surprises, uh, definitely, from His Excellency uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. I think that uh, announcing uh, this year to be uh, the Women's Year actually uh, holds a lot of different uh, surprises for the Egyptian women. So I wish them all the best. Right. Uh, well, Dr. Mona Adri, a member of the National Council for Women, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. Thank you so much. And thanks for all the Egyptian women. And uh, uh, I always uh, tell them, uh, keep strong. And, uh, and uh, the secret is behind your strength and strength. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, dear viewers, now we, go to the, we come to the end of this edition of Cairo Local Times. Stay tuned for more coming up here on Nile TV International.